Hey, what the hell's going on, you guys? It is Superplan Negative AE, and welcome back to another episode of Higarashi When They Cry. Uh, last week, I thought we were kind of talking about this parasite theory, um, which is probably the most logical theory so far. So, props for the game pulling this out. There's still a lot of questions I have um, that I'm looking for answers to with this parasite theory. So, if they could explain just like one of the things that I'm confused about. Like, I'd, I'd believe that they could explain the rest of the stuff. Um, so, I'm interested to see where they take it. And right now we're talking about EDA, uh, because it's a little weird that he's kind of a doctor in this situation. I don't know. We'll see. He's researching period performance of the epidemic disease, or endemic disease. It's hard to believe that the coach we know is capable of doing things like that. Don't ever say that in a mystery game. Don't ever say that th he might be totally irrelevant. First case was the dismemberment murder by the damn construction workers. Wait. Are the damn construction murders? Their quarrel had turned into a lynching. The aggression and delirium might have kicked in. The victims of the second year were Satoko's parents. There were no witnesses, so the whole event is veiled in mystery, but there's a theory that someone might have pushed them over the cliff, since the fence of the observation deck that they fell from was quite sturdy. What if one of them was infected by the primitive parasite, or he or she might have become violent and pushed the other off the cliff? The Shinto priest died from a disease and his wife drowned herself in the third year. She might have died of shock from a hypersensitive situation to the infection. His wife might have been gone crazy and committed suicide when one of the symptoms, delirium, kicked in. In the fourth year, Satoshi Hojo's aunt was beaten to death, probably by Satoshi, Satoshi himself. Everybody who knew Satoshi Kun remembers how he changed at that time. He showed signs of being both aggressive and delirious. See? Like... That makes sense to me. Sure. In the fifth year. For the first time in five years, the victim experienced the maggot disease described in the old scroll of the Fruit Day Shrine. The reason behind this is unclear, but the stronger primitive parasite could have given its victims the delusion of maggots. This means that they finally managed to duplicate the curse of oyashiro sama After five years of research, Tomitaki-san is the victim of the fifth year. He died in an extremely abnormal way. And I'm the only one who understands his death because I experienced the same thing. He kept clawing at his throat to get rid of the maggots and died as a result. With all of that explained, I finally understand the maggot disease I experienced in Ibaraki. I left Hinamizawa and it made the parasite in me uncomfortable. As a result, it tried to resist and even though it wasn't very strong, and it tried even though it wasn't very strong, they tried to make me homesick, but with my parents' divorce, I grew mentally unbalanced, and I completely lost the power to resist for a period of time. The parasite was weak and harmless, but my mental instability allowed it to worsen my symptoms dramatically. As a result, I went crazy and delirious. Oh, violent, and became violent. The delusion of Oyashiro-sama appearing to me in the bathroom was probably the terminal phase of my delirium. I created the supernatural existence Oyashiro-sama that I was instilled with when I was little. Then I persuaded myself to go back to Hinamizawa based on that delusion. Some of the transcendents of Odegafuchi must have had, that, had the same kind of experience. They must have passed their experiences down as the acts of God. I remember I once saw on TV that the indigenous people of South Africa used some kind of natural drug in order to have a mystical experience. And they called it a ritual to communicate with their gods. じゃあ、信者どもの目的は多分でも宗教には
悪いことなんだよな危険性の高い病原体をばらまこうと言うんだから多分悪いことに分類されるだろうねそれって細菌テロって言わないかお,おいめちゃくちゃやばいことだぞ富武さんの死に方がお社様のたたりの再現に成功していた以上 X デーは間違ってこわからないもう秒読みなのかまだまだ時間のかかるもうこれはジェナ一人が抱えてかなり笑えない大陰謀だぞ俺たちにはどうしようもない警察に任すほうがないぞ Don't do that. 私が話したこと、yeah. 警察は信じてくれると思う Thank you, Renner. Voice of reason. k e i c h i s always like coming up with stupid ass theories. What? Call the police. What do you think this is? Yeah, and it's also their choice to freaking put us in a fucking mental hospital. k e i c h i I will punch you several times in the face. それを大石さんに私が打ち明けたら私がスクラップ帳を持っていることを告白するのと同じなんじゃないかな。Exactly! That's another thing! Fucking Rena over here! それってまずいのか ?Thank you, Rena! 大石さんの接触は、ミオさん敵はミオさんを殺した時点でスクラップ帳の紛失とその数日前に私が図書館で出会っている。バカなつ,つまりそう、大石さん自体が敵に大石さんは私がスクラップ帳を持っている可能性があると当たりをつけて実際彼はうさんくさくて腹を割らないそのザキ家を疑わせるようなことを言って自分は味方だと言ってくるけど彼だってそのそのザキ家の手先かもしれない警察を疑い出したらおしまいだぞケイチケイチ君4年目の撲殺事件を知ってるよね。さとこちゃんのおばさんが殺されたあれは、犯人はさとしくん以外に考えられないんだけど、これをどう思う警察内部に、盲信的な連中の手先が混じっていて、3年目の神主さんの病死の検視とか、2年目の北条夫妻の事故現場の見分とか、警察が、もしも彼らの片棒を担いでいるなら、数々の完全犯ひなみざわ御三家は、ダム戦争時から今日に至るまでもずっと警察への圧力を維持してるんだよそれに沖ノ宮の町のいろんなところに一族が進出して実権を握っているというのはた確かにそれはミオンの口からだけじゃないいろんなやつの口から聞かされた Thank God we have Rena here to like stop Keiji's stupid ass ideas ミオンのその先家がどれだけしない全域に強力な影響力を持っているかってのもなそういうこと警察はこの土地では必ずしも信用できないなるでなすまん先にはっきりさせたいんだが黒幕はミオンも関係があるってのかそれだけは先に聞かせてくれ御三家であるミーちゃんやリカちゃんがただ盲信的な勢力が御三家や一番の有力家であるその先家を自由に動かせる中枢部に根付いているのは間違い盲信的な勢力が根付いたのか御三家の中枢が盲信的なのかは分かりかねるけどね。You guys hear a crazy theory that I just came up with? 関係あるかどうか分からない以上、用心に越したことはないってわけだな。Like this is real suspicious. うん、みーちゃんたちのことを疑うわけじゃないよ。普段のみーちゃんは頼もしいし、私も。他の心配事ならただ今回のことはちょっと話の時間が違う。Let me, let me just, uh, ケイチ君は見たことあるかな ?I'm just gonna throw it out there just in case. Just in case somewhere down the line they pop this into existence and this just happens to be the thing. Doesn't ケイチ seem like very ignorant about everything? Like he's like, oh my god, we need to do this! But wait, do we, does that mean that this happens? Like, he asks a lot of questions. He's really dumb. Doesn't make any sense to some of his stuff.、Um, when you play as him, he's very frantic. He's like, what do we do? Blah, blah, blah. What if, what if the whole time, Keiichi's this evil bastard and we have no idea? Keiichi's just like mentally with someone else. Like, because like, like, we don't know, like I said before, like I've said. Um, I, I swear I've said this before. Where、um, we don't know much about Keiichi. Like, Keiichi's kind of, kind of a wild card. We know that he moved here. 
why did he move here? You know, there's not much information about that besides, oh, his father needed to, like, this is where he needed to go for work, and that's why he moved. What happened before he moved here? Was he crazy before here? And, like, they moved here, um, like, they had to move here because Keiichi was acting up and they didn't want the work hearing about it, so they, like, moved here? I don't know. It just sounds like maybe he's part of it. Maybe, like, he could be, if they throw it back to him, they could... Weave it into the story that Casey's the mastermind behind this all. Just saying. I just want to throw that out there. It's probably not correct. But you better believe that if it is correct, I'm pointing right back to this episode. Casey's just in too much of an idiot. As most main characters are, so I'll let it pass. Why do you want to tell everybody everything, Keiichi? Yeah. I've never felt more on the same wavelength as a character than I have with her.俺と Keiichi's not the best friend to, to have on your side. He's just kind of like an idiot. Like, what's he really going to be useful for besides, like, oh my god, that sucks? Yeah, besides being reassuring, he's like nothing. Keiichi, all you've done is suggest terrible ideas. そうだね。二人でどう戦えばいいか。これ今日は私スクラップ帳を読み直す時間が欲しかったから休んだけど、明日おかしな行動をすれば蹴取られてしまうかもしれない。ケイチ君も変にみーちゃんとか時折鋭
they're just suspicious of her and they're not sure if she has the scrapbooks or not. But it's still creepy. Rena has probably experienced the same creepiness I felt when I saw this, the van several times up until now. Um, she must sense the danger more than I do. However, the fact that they weren't attacking, that they merely were observing us, was disturbing. If they attacked her, they could have done. She could have done something like call, going to the police. But all they're doing is just watching her from a distance. They can't do anything about it. She can't talk to anybody, to, of anybody about it. She probably just wants to stay in her house all day. But if she acted different, they might take it as proof that she has the scrapbooks. We have to think about how to fight against them without making it too uh, obvious. I told myself there was no going back, and I put the phone down. The question remains, right? Why is Rena like creepy in the other chapters? Like, from what I've seen so far, she has no reason to be creepy. That's that's number one. Number two, Rika. Big question. We already know. Number three, Satoko. Big question. No idea what's going on. Number four, we kind of know what's going on with Neon. I don't know. Number five, wild card Oishi, wild card freaking freaking EDA. Why? I have no idea, but uh, I guess we'll find out eventually. Number f number six, Shion, hearing weird noises. Nobody else is hearing them. Why? The next day, Rena came to school acting normal like she would, or said she would. It just this parasite theory doesn't explain a lot of things, and I need it to. Otherwise, I can't believe it. Um, because I don't believe it. Until they explain this to me. Yeah, she talked with me on cheerfully as she always did, and it made me wonder if the story she told me last night was just a was a complete fabrication. That's because the story really was too ridiculously crazy to believe. This village has a very weird and rare endemic disease, and there are religious fanatics who want to use the disease to revive their weird cult. And they've been researching the pathogen of the endemic disease so they can spread it throughout the village. I was deeply influenced by Rena last night, and I believed everything she said. But thinking about it with a cool mind under the bright sunlight, it sounds too crazy to be true. The story Rena told me is based on Takano-san's crazy hand-me-down ideas. It's entirely based on her theories which, though very feasible, have no evidence whatsoever. The fact that Takano-san was murdered lends credit to the story, I'll give you that, but... I looked at Neon. Who's was fooling around with Rena. It's hard to believe that she's involved with some crazy conspiracy. Man made fun of me for reacting too slowly. It's almost impossible not to trust this bubbly, cheerful girl. I trust me on. I trust my friends. I know she'd never have a hand in a crazy conspiracy like that. If she knew about it, she wouldn't be able to act this cheerfully. Rena told me not to tell me on because she might be one of them. I'm gonna murder Keiichi. I'm literally gonna, like, I can't stand him. <laughs> Why? I'm gonna punch you several times in the face. I can't stand you. <laughs> Rena... Oh my god, you picked one hell of a person. There's a, a, at least a 1% chance that the conspiracy is true and Mian is one of them. If so, I'd be doomed. But if I had to choose between believing the crazy conspiracy theory and trusting my friends, my answer would be obvious. I'm going to punch you several times in the face. I know that my friend, Mian, isn't a part of any conspiracy. She'd never be involved with something like that. Several times, in the face. Directly. Please stop. <laughs> Even if the conspiracy exists, I'm sure Mian will be on our side. I I can't believe what I'm reading. But you're completely... Oh, God. Oh, my fucking God. So whether or not it's true, it must be worth telling Mian about it. God, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Oh, I'm so fucking mad. I can't. I can't be any more mad than I am right now. Keiji, stop your stupid shit. 
こんなところに呼び出して。Oh my god, I'm so mad. それも誰にも内緒で来いなんてさ。Oh, I'm so fucking mad. まさか、カツアゲとかそういうのじゃないよね。Oh, good. I like, don't want to click to the next one because I'm afraid、Kate、the next line is Keichi going to be telling me on. But then when I click, it's not Keichi telling me on. So then I'm scared to click the next one because I'm afraid that he's going to tell. Can you. Oh, my na. Taik Soko no Urani Obertara. Masaki ni so mo no kayo. Nja. Labreta toka? Demo so you know a getabako ga teban jana? Oh, dude. There, oh, there might be a 1% chance that she might know. If that's the case, I'd be doomed. But I want to trust my friends. Tokaiじゃあそうでもないぞ。直接渡す白兵戦型も少なくない。え？じゃ、じゃあ、あの。なわけねえだろ。それより、かなり真面目な話がある。ミアン、ファイトミー。That's the cutest ミアン look。茶菓子は一切なしで聞いてくれ。何を？親城様信仰を復活させようとしている連中がいる。っての。は？何？ケイちゃん、何の話 ？I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. This is the worst. Everything that I'm reading is the worst right now. You wouldn't normally react like this if someone pointed out their secrets out of the blue. I hate this. This is dumb. Oh,、uh, either Mian is a building actress or she really didn't have anything to do with the idea of reviving o y a s h i r o s a m a I decided to tell her everything. <sighs> Not once. There's been a couple times I think that I've been on board with Keiji's ideas, and that's when he was infected by the stupid parasite killing the stupid uncle. That was like, all right, all right Keiji, making some good decisions. You know, like, okay, well, we need to dig the hole beforehand, and then if we do this, we need to kill him on his bike before he leaves. We'll chase him into the forest and I'll, you know, do all this shit. That was like the only time I was like, you know what, Keiji, that's a good idea. It's a good ass idea. This right here? Terrible idea. Oh, my no yeno sono zaki get there. Hinamiza of Kume. Mono Oyashiro Sama Shinko of Kosutame. Ku? Nande? Yeah, Dagarasa. I'm going to punch you in the face. Imano Oyashiro Sama Shinko te, Sorosa. O Mukash no Oniga Fimura no Rebel Made, Himodo Staito Motteiru. Hi? Choto Choto. Nano Hanashina, okay? 本当に何の話かわからないのかわかるわけ何その全米第一位みたいな面白いストーリーはさ。What novel are they talking about? I don't know. I'm too I'm too in suspense to do anything. It seemed impossible. It seemed. The key word being seemed impossible that she was pretending and she didn't know anything about it. It seemed. Something about the word seemed doesn't seem right. But regardless, I continue. Yeah, that's、oh, it. Oh, God, I'm so mad. So you're in this place. I'm so mad. 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 とてもだってケイちゃん大昔の厳しい戒律の頃に逆戻りって今のこの現代村から出るななんて言われたら生活なんかやってられないってた例えばほらリカちゃんリカちゃんって何でも親代様の生まれ変わりそういった取り巻きの老人たちの中にはきっとリカちゃんの取り巻きっていうと君吉のおじいちゃんとかのことまあ確かに信仰心は熱い方だと思ういやだから本来の親代様信仰を再び復活させようとしているやからが<笑>はいはい話が進まないからこの場は信じるよ I hate this それで、so、much. でそいつらは親代様の正体が
この土地独特のフード病にあることどこでというかフード病って何病原体って何よ縁がちょどうしたのミオさんに妙なことでも吹き込まれたわけ知ってるのか有名だよ。あの人、オカルトマニアだから、いつもとんでもない空想話をでっち上げてる。This is the worst. たまに真に受ける人がいるとかなーりヘビーに吹き込むって有名なんだよ。私も昔話を聞かせてもらったことがあったけど、け<笑>それって本当かケイちゃんもどこかで耳にしてるだろうけど、この村は大昔、それは少し刺激の強い要素のある文化でね。厳しい戒律とミオさんもそんなマニアの中の一人。じゃあ、この村が。はあ成虫それミオさんの新作新作ってどういうことだよ言ったでしょ鬼ヶ淵村の奇怪な伝説などを研究してあれやこれやの仮説や推理妄想を楽しんだからその寄生虫に村が支配されてるって説以外にもいろいろ創作してる This was a mistake. 私がずいぶん前に聞いたのは Don't you dare. 有効説だったよ Mention Rena's name. これが結構つじつまがあってて面白いの。Just say it was you. Just say it was you. And that's it. That's all. You don't have to mention Rena's name. We haven't mentioned it yet. We haven't mentioned Rena's name at all. Hi, Kono Mukashini. Oni ga fuchi mura ni yuho ga tsui raku shite. Soko kara dete kita isei jin to murabito de tatakai ga okotte. Toyu kanji kara hajimaru. BQSF. Satoko ga kika sare ta ってのは地底人説だったかな地殻変動によって地底王国と鬼ヶ淵村の間に接点そうそう地底王国のお姫様と村の若者が恋をして互いに仲直りをしたっていう S んで最新作がどうやらケイちゃんの企画いやいやいつかそれらを全部まとめて本にしてほしいよ<笑><笑>すまんみよ、俺がこれから聞くことに答えて、まず、親しろさば信仰を復活させようとする連中は。しないよ、というかむしろギャ。ひなみざわは、外部に対してどんどん開いていて、さ、これはまだ内緒なんだけど、二十一世紀までをめどにね。その崎家は現在、水面下でその誘致をしててね。うまくいけば、ここいらは一気に栄えること、バッチャはそれによって、山林の地下が一気に高騰して大儲けできると踏んでるみまあ21世紀の仕事だからそれは私が引き継ぐ大仕事になるじゃあ外部の人間を意味嫌う連中なんてのだからそんなの存在しないってただでさえ不便な村をさらに不便にしてどうするんだか現に村は今別荘地として売り出しを開始してるケイちゃんの家はまさにその第一号じゃないの村人はみんな歓迎してくれたでしょ Remember the people in the white van. 若者の流出を食い止めるため、御三家もいろいろと考えてるんだ。Remember the white van people, k e i c h i Don't tell her. Don't tell her about Rena at all. I swear to God. Lillian's word woke me up from that delusion. じゃあじゃあ、えっと、あれはどうだよ寄生虫の感染の証拠を示すけそうなのというかミオさんはそんなのだって高野さんは看護師だろしそんな怪しげな調査のために誰が決誰もしないってそれに仮に採血をしたってどこでどう調べたわけミオさんがたった一人で一体何人の血を調べられたっていうわけミオンミオン is like the master of lying to you dude It could just be a lie. What we should do is until we know the truth, not believe either of them, and just figure out kind of what's going on. Why were those people in the white van there? Why were there a bunch of shit going on? It, instead, what Keiji's doing is he's believing one story, and then someone's like, no, that's not true. What are you talking about? And then Keiji goes over to this side and is like, ah,、oh, well, of course it's not true. Bitch. 
Like, I swear to God. It struck me hard to believe there was only blood samples and I love it without any help. When I thought about it rationally, I shouldn't have believed such a ridiculous story so easily. I thought, I also don't like that she's dis she's like, oh, well, that can't be true because this. Oh, well, that can't be true because this. None of it's true. You're saying that, like. This is a little bit like. Answer this one, Mian. I'll know for sure whether or not you're lying. <laughs> okay. So. I swear to God, Keiji. <laughs> and I was sounding ridiculous. But I believed all of it last night. I believed it because Rena looked very serious. わかりにくいぞ。説明してくれ。うん。ダム戦争の脅迫めいたこともやってのけた。でもね、あの当時それを利用するやらしい連中もいたらしい。鬼が縁刺繍同盟の名を語って金品を要求したりする衛生同盟
テキサスの砂漠でトレーナーさんと戦<笑>じゃあじゃあじゃあOkay. The four men in work uniforms I saw were there too. Okay. Here we go. I said thank you to Mian and followed them. Okay. My dog! Ah, how are you? Today is hot. No, no. The teacher is very good today. Let's go. Yes. よろしくこれうちの事務や見積もり書ありがとうございます日付は空欄ですねはいお預かりしはいそれでは取り掛かりますんでうんどうしたのかあ校長先生あの今の男の人は誰ですかどんたおみだってエクスキューズだってエクスキューズだってエクスキューズだってエ I saw a young and taking another lawnmower or summon the brooms out of the van. You can't believe that. You can't as a reasonable you can't as a reasonable human being. When they asked you about a girl who was walking along the side of the street, they asked you about her. They were like, hey, did you see that girl that was there? She had like a bow and and, and that shit? Why? ごちそうさん。うん。よろしく頼みもします。なんとか教授しばらくうるさくしますが、ご容赦を。Who's Okonogi, Okonogi Gardeners in green on the envelope. Deva, Moshi Waki Ari Masenga. Hmm, Kokoroeta. A, a no, a no Zoen ya san wa, kino mo kite mashita. A good thing though is we didn't mention Rena's name. That's all. I'm happy about that. Eh. Great. Kino no yugata ni kaeri ni chika michi o shiyo to shite. Thank God, Kichi didn't fuck things up. Like he did. He did kind of fuck things up, but he didn't mention her name. Okay, I remember when I heard Chia started talking about when she got lost, they laughed together. There was never anything suspicious to begin with. I hate you! I thought they were suspicious yesterday because of what Rena told me. I hate you! At first, I thought it wasn't unusual to see a white van, but then after I heard her creepy story, I saw a white and got scared. Gardeners weren't familiar with the roads of Hinamizawa, and they got lost trying to take a shortcut on their way back. That's all. I had it totally twisted around. I hate you. I believe this fake sounded story, and I believed it was the Sonozaki family working behind the scenes, and I fabricated the existence of a group of fanatical believers in my mind. I hate you. <laughs> Worse, I doubted me on. How could I do that? Oh, I'm so done. Oh, I'm so mad. We took each other's hands that day, saying we were a family made of friends and friends no matter what. I said that, but then I doubted my friend. I'm so stupid. What the fuck are you doing right now? Keiichi. Sometimes, dude. Retta was the problem. I hate you.
She also needed to wake up from this crazy delusion. I hate you. I had to hurry and wake her up. Rena seemed like she had no mind to listen to anyone else. She truly believes that the Sonosaki family are masterminds of a large-scale conspiracy. <sighs> Thank God we're back in reasonable territory. I remember the plate number of the white van, I also remember their faces. Without a doubt, this is the one of the vans that's, that have been following me. So far, I've confirmed that three or four cars have been following me. I can especially recall this white van because it followed me around the longest of all. The people who were in the other cars must have been lookouts, and the ones in this van must be tasked with direct contact, like kidnapping or assassination. The lookouts secure the surroundings, and the ones in the van attack the target. There's a common maneuver involved in both kidnapping and assassination. The scrapbooks... It's a common maneuver in kidnapping and assassination. The scrapbooks have that too. If so, I'd better watch out for it because it was them, not the lookouts, who came to the school premises. I don't think they'll attack me while I'm in school. They're in the early stage of their covert operation now, hiding their fangs and claws and still the last stage of their horrifying scheme. That's why they won't take action in the school where people are watching. But it looks like they were talking with Chie Sensei in a friendly way, or a very friendly way. I could only hear bits and pieces of their conversation, but it sounded very suspicious. I tried to remember the chatter and movements of their mouths, but and I played it I played my memory like a videotape in my mind. マイドどうもごくっきょうもあついですねいいえいいえではすみません今日もよろしくお願いはいよろしくお願いしますこれうちの事務屋から渡すように言われましたんでとですねありがとうございますわあ空欄ですねはいお預かりしますはいそれではリ
You think nothing will happen if you pretend not to notice it? Think, think hard. Calm down, Renat. Uh, what will they try to do to me today in school? In school? Or are they going to do anything with my classmates and friends around me? Easy. Gia Sensei will tell me to come to the teacher's office during the last class of the day. What about my club mates? That's easy too. Chia Sensei can easily make them go home early using her authority as a teacher. She can make up any reason she wants. Maybe the classroom is going to have carpentry work done today, so she can't stay in. So they can't stay in school. Okay. Here's kind of what I'm gathering. Ren is paranoid. And there's no. There's no doubt about that. She's paranoid. Um, rightfully so. I mean, she's being followed, so that's kind of an interesting uh, thing. And if I were in this situation, possibly, possibly, um, I think there's some truth to what Rena's saying, but I also feel like she's maybe taking the truth that she has discovered and, and now twisting other things to kind of fit that narrative, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's like she found, she found kind of like almost, almost what's going on. But she's kind of now twisting it because she's scared. Hi, you're not good. You know, Jimmy, you're not good. This is me. I got to go. I miss it. Well, good on this. Hi, was a Karishima. I see. They gave Shia Sensei an envelope with documents in it. That blank is an eerie face. Phrase is my name supposed to be in the blank? Why is it left blank? What does that mean? I told you, Renner Reading. Still think that nothing will happen to you if you pretend not to notice it? Stop that. But what it must mean is that it's an order from higher up. It says to make Rena Ryugu become blank. I took a peek from the shadows and saw the principal taking documents from the envelope. He started reading them. He looked stern. He looked very serious. I wished I could take a peek at the documents, but I was too far away. I kept looking at him just to see if he had reacted at all. Then the envelope caught my eye. The envelope said Okon Okonogi Gardeners and it had some number that looked like a phone number. Fortunately, I have good eyesight. I memorized the number. If they're a death squad, the gardening, gardening company must be a camouflage operation occupation. It probably doesn't even exist. I wanted to figure or find out. I looked for a phone. There's only one phone and it's in the teacher's office. Fortunately, the teachers were chatting in the hallway, looking at the gardeners. It's now or never. I made sure nobody was watching me go into the teacher's office. I rushed in and grabbed the phone in the principal's desk. Went over to the phone. I went over the phone number in my head and dialed it up. Glad they have a touch tone tel or phone. It would have been difficult if it was a rotary dial. If somebody answered it only if they asked, is this the Okino... Okonogi Gardeners. I'd wait for the answer before hanging up. It should be easy. Connect it. Make a quick judgment. Might have remembered the number wrong. No, I know I remembered it right. It was an easy number to remember. It's impossible to remember it wrong. And did I dial it wrong? I put the phone down and started it over. This time I dialed the number more slowly. The teacher might be coming back at any time. In that situation, it was risky to do anything slowly. But I needed to make sh a absolutely sure. It's the same. There's no doubt. The company Okonogi Gardeners doesn't exist. It's a camouflage occupation for the Sonazaki family's death squad. I was too stunned to put down the receiver. The announcement kept running over and over again. The voice was cold and creepy. I hung up the phone and rushed out of the teacher's office. I ran down to the bathroom and held my head in an attempt to cool down. I'm down, Rena. I'm down, Rena Ryugu. Stay cool. Rena Ryugu. I wasn't safe here anymore. If I stayed here, I might be erased, even in the open. They'd erase me? Why? They aren't certain that I have the scrapbooks. I... I told Keichi-kun where I hid the scrapbooks. 
Yesterday, I told them, I told him I hid them in my hideout in the garbage dump. Keichigun in cahoots with Sonozaki family? Oh, you don't even know, dude. Get ready. Dude, this shit is going to get crazy. <laughs> this shit is going to get crazy. I felt as the, as if the head, if my head was a pot that was cooking some dubious stew, there's only soup in my brain. I cut up the clues, information, and facts, just like I cut vegetables and threw them into a pot. Some of them were floating on the surface and the others were on the bottom of the pot. They were floating to be cooked in a boiling soup. No, it can't be. Keiji-kun is on my side. He's the only one who's on my side. He held out his hand to me in the trash piles. There was no lie in that hand. When he grabbed my wrist, I felt nothing but his strong and pure heart. He promised me he'd be on my side. I shouldn't doubt Keiji-kun. He's the only one I, can tr I should trust. He's the only one who's on my side right now. Oh, God. I hate Keiji-kun. Oh god. Said it out loud on purpose, full of regret that I doubted Keiji Kun, the only one who was on my side. Like I hate him so much. Guys, I gotta end it. Like I have to end it. Now that I think about it, whether I have the graphics or not might not matter to them. Race anyone who is suspicious. That's the safest way. Does that mean you're in a hurry? The day of Oyashiro-sama's revival might be around in the corner. That's why they're trying to get rid of any small fish bones that are stuck in, uh, stuck in the throat by any means before it's too late. We don't need her anymore. Just erase her if you're worried so much. I could easily picture Oyu Sonazaki saying that. Picture? No, she did say that. That's why they're here today. What should I do? What should I do? I should wait until school is over? Or should I wait until school is over? I was like a fish in a, spot in a pond. No matter how many times I escaped from the net, I was in the pond. They own the pond. I didn't stand a chance. Then, what should I do now? I couldn't keep escaping from the net. I should get out of the pond. I didn't know how to fight them. I didn't know who was on my side. I was about to give in to despair. For now, I'd have to think about how to survive this so that I had have I'd, I'd at least have time to think about how to fight against them i have to get out of this pond when i was about to leave the bathroom one of my classmates came in i pretended to be sick and talked to the girl while leaning on the wall i shouldn't let chie sensei know that i'm leaving school early if i'm trying to run away from them but if i didn't they might think i ran away without cause that might lead to them chase to chase after me without mercy. If that happens, I don't stand a chance. They were planning to capture me after school is over, but I happened to feel sick and left school early. If they took it that way, they wouldn't think I noticed the noose tightening around me. I was about to go back to the classroom to get my bag, but I changed my mind and turned around. I didn't need my bag anymore. I realized that nobody was watching me, so I stopped pretending to be sick and started running. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and edit here. It's it's 53 minutes. There was a lot of me like brooding about this about this uh, this episode. Uh, it, it's just um, it's it, it's not just Keiichi. I, I give Keiichi a hard time because he's um, sometimes sometimes he's he's he makes me like. Oh, I'm so mad. Um, but he's not the only main character to do that. And uh, I, I know a lot of main characters do that. I give him a lot of flack. Um, when, you know, who knows? If I was in that situation, maybe I'd act the same way. Doubtful. Very doubtful. But, you know, it's whatever. You know, your friend trusts you. And your first, your first instinct is to be like, well, I trust this other friend more. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Keiichi. You've been a good friend. You've been a great, you've been a great person today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this episode, please hit the like button. Uh, that always helps, especially on the visual novel stuff. Really, 
Um, I really like visual novel stuff. I, I think I'm in kind of the minority of the gaming community um, when I say I like visual novel stuff. But I don't know. They're kind of cool. It's like reading a cool book with with interest. Like it's like I'm watching an anime, but I'm I'm not. It's just really long. <laughs> um. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next episode, whenever that may be. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, you guys.